everyone welcome to part 77 of lara 19 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website so we are going to work on product filter once again and we are going to do site filter this time dynamically for our listing page okay so i am going to show you uh, the filters once again that we have done in the last video we able to make all these filters like fabric sleeve all kind of custom filters uh, we able to make them dynamic in our listing page you can see that there are five products in men category and you can uh, if you will select the cotton you can able to see only the cotton only the cotton products will get uh, will, uh, will be seen here will be shown here okay and if you will uh, check the blister as well then you can see the cotton as well as the blister products are coming here okay and if you will uh, check on this half sleeve then only half sleeve uh, half sleeve products are coming and if you will check the full sleeve and uncheck the half sleeve you can see only the blister uh, full sleeve product is coming uh, blister or cotton full sleeve product is coming okay so our filters are working fine here you can see uh, you can see uh, there is no full sleeve product for cotton but there is a full sleeve product for blister so this is the working for our filters that we have done so far and all these kind of filters are dynamic uh, uh, we can add from the admin panel but uh, the filters like sizes like color like brand this filter and also the price filter uh, these filters we are going to manage uh, our ourselves we are going to manage from like the site filter uh, can be managed from the product attributes you can able to see you can able to check your database so this filter is not this is also the dynamic filter but it it, it is going to manage from the product attributes table not the filters table okay but we will not use the product filters and product filter values for these table because these are having uh, the specific mean these are different from those filters okay size color and brand we are going to manage from their respective table like the size filters belongs to the product attributes table but uh, color filter belongs to the products table it's in the products table and the brand filters uh, is in the brands uh, is, is in the products uh, we can see in the products table we can see the brand id as well as the color okay so we need to manage them from these tables you can see the brand id here as well as the product color is also here so we are going to manage these two filters from the products table okay so right now we are going to use the products attributes table for every category we are going to pick the sizes from the products attributes table we are going to show the sizes according to the according to the section according to the like for men now we are going to show the separate sizes for mobiles we are going to show the separate sizes for men what we are going to show we are going to show the uh, small medium and large for electronics for mobiles what we are going to show we are going to show the 4 gb 8 gb uh, or whatever there uh, we have added the size that we are going to show i'm going to uh, add the sizes for all so that uh, it will be more clear to you that what we are going to do okay so i'm going to show you the size first of all for the product clothing brand for any of the t-shirt uh, okay so here i'm going to show you uh, for the clothing okay so like this one i'm going to show you the site for this one here you can see we if someone open the t-shirts category then we are going to show the small medium large and if someone open the mobiles category then we are going to show the mobile sizes so mobile sizes uh, we have not added so far so we are going to add the size like this one 64 GB 4 GB uh, and we are going to make it like R and 11 like something 644 and the price 15,000 and the stock is 100 okay one more we are going to add and this time we are going to add uh, instead of 64 we are going to add the 128 GB or we can uh, we can simply add uh, like uh, 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 like uh, we can also increase the 8 GB like 4 GB to 8 GB so it's our choice so here we can make instead of uh, uh, 64 we can make it different as well here rn11 instead of 64 we can make the 128 here okay like this and here the price we can make its price like 18000 and stock 150 okay submit so there are two sizes we have added uh, like 64 gb 4 gb and 128 gb 4 gb like uh, most of the website used to do most of the website used to show you the sizes uh, i'm going to show you 
that how they show these sizes i'm going to show you because uh, just a uh, few days back i have uh, placed one order on amazon and i want uh, some product like this shampoo i want okay uh, so here uh, you can see this is the kind of sizes like they have given like 192 you can see this size here uh, you want the shampoo of this one 192.5 ml you want it like 396 uh, uh, 396 ml or you want like uh, uh like uh, 6704 ml okay so it's uh, the uh, it's the customer choice like which uh, how much ml of shampoo he wants so in the same way if you are going to uh, we are going to see any of the mobile lot of mobile is having the option like this 4 gb 8 gb 12 gb even i have buy uh, uh, the mobile from amazon but uh, yeah same kind of similar kind of uh, thing uh, i have seen for the macbook also okay so similar kind of thing uh, used to there uh, used to be there in the website so same kind of thing we are going to follow here okay so for these sizes like if someone open the mobiles then we are going to show here 4 gb 8 gb these sizes for 64 gb hyphen 4 gb it is understood that 64 gb is for the uh, is for the storage and 4 gb is for the ram you can store your application apps you can store your games anything in 64 gb your data your photos in 64 gb and 4 gb is for the uh, is for the memory is for the memory that is required by the mobile okay so now uh, see i am going to uh, we are going to work on this size now practically and i'm going to create one function first of all i'm going to open here uh, the prux filter model uh, there we are going to create one function of get sizes function so that we can get sizes from the url url of the category okay public function we are going to use this function so that's why i'm going to create this we are going to use for every category okay so for that i'm going to use this function uh public static function get sizes and here we are going to pass the url dollar category details And here, see, uh, we need to fetch the category details from the URL. Okay, this URL we are going to pass from the filters. Uh, okay, from this page we are going whatever the uh, the category URL is, we are going to pass this URL uh, to here. Okay, uh, to 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 fetch the category IDs. So I'm going to show you like uh, in the category model. If we are going to open the category model, we are having one function here category details. So we are going to use this function to fetch the detail of the category. Okay. So I am going to use this function. I will send here URL so that I can fetch the category IDs from this function. Okay. So I am going to show you that how I can get how we can get the details. Print R. So these category details I am going to print. Okay. So we are going to use this function in filters blade file. I am going to open the filters dot blade dot php in which the size filter is also there. Okay. We can scroll down and you can see this is the size filter. Okay. So uh, at the top of this filter, uh, we are going to call this function so that uh, we can call and we can get the sizes. Okay so what we can do after this one we can call this function dollar get sizes prox filter get sizes and here url like this okay so i'm going to refresh and you can see we able to fetch the mobile ids mobile category ids these we require like four and five id we want to display the attributes uh, sizes of those categories of four four and fifth category okay so now from the category we are going to fetch the product ids like which products belong to these two categories we are going to fetch those products those ids of those products and from those ids we are going to fetch the sizes of the products okay so so we are going to do that 
so here uh, we know that we have got uh, this cat ids okay from this cat ids we are going to fetch the product ids of these categories okay so that we can take all the sizes of the product and can show them at the left side bar for the filters get product ids so we are going to get the product ids from the product model where category id we have got the category id okay category id we know that we, in every product table we have the category id so we are going to fetch and see not one there are two or more okay there can be one or more uh, more categories so we are going to uh, going to use the wherein okay so here uh, from this one here uh, we can see we have fetched that cat id is already there so we are going to use this cat ids this array we are going to use in which all the category ids are there okay so we are going to use the plug here so that we can get the data that we require okay only the related data that we require we are going to fetch only the related data that we required okay so we are required only id so we will plug id then we are going to use the two array only id is required now what what we can do i'm going to bring it down sorry uh, Okay, so I am going to bring it down like this and I am going to make it like this so that we can check that the product ID is we able to fetch. See, two products are there, 1 and 7, you can also check in admin panel, this is the one product and it's having the sizes 1 and there is one product that we have added that is the seventh product, this one. So we can also add some, uh, some, uh, uh, some sizes to this one so that we can uh, able to use like 64 gb 4 gb and uh, we can just uh, can give here rt001 something like this okay and after that 64 4 okay price we can give here 12000 only one we can add only one here submit okay so now uh, see we have got the products from these products we need to fetch the now we need to fetch uh, sizes okay so for sizes sizes we uh, we are required to fetch from the product attributes table so from the product ids we are going to fetch the sizes from the product id we need to fetch the sizes okay so i hope that it is clear bit complex but not that much you need to understand rewatch the videos what i am doing okay so now we need to get the get sizes get product sizes like we have get earlier product ids now we will get the product sizes okay so this time we are going to get the product sizes product sizes we are going to get from the products attribute table not it's not there in product table it's in product attribute table and we are going to uh, just require to get the uh, here size only okay we can also select the size here okay only size is required so we can select the size here only uh, ID is required so we can select the ID okay we can also do it like this only ID is required so we can just select the ID okay so that only limited data we able to get okay so uh, and now we are going to use the where in once again because the product can be multiple and this time we are going to compare it with the product ID product ID we are having product ID product underscore id sorry so now here uh, we are having this array we are going to pick this array here and and this one same plug and two array we can use and this time we are going to use this side and now we are going to check that whether we are getting the uh, sizes or not refresh now and see we able to get these sizes here you can see 64 gb 128 gb so three sizes we have added two for one uh two for first product and one for second product and you can see the similar sizes here so we need to use here group by we need to use here group by so that uh, no similar sizes will be displayed only the unique sizes will be displayed okay so we are going to use here the 
group by group by size okay so this one like we used to do in core php you remember that we used to do uh, in core php as well uh, and in laravel in php as well okay in laravel as well we are going to use here group by size okay now see i'm going to refresh now only two sizes will come one is 64 gb and one is 128 gb uh, with 4 gb ram okay so now this one we are going to return this one uh, return uh, product uh, return these get sizes and this get sizes uh, we are going to uh, display in for each loop uh, there in filters blade file okay so that we can add the filters for them here we are going to now use the for each loop to display these sizes okay like we do for others like we have done for others okay so now uh, where it is repeating it is repeating here so here i'm going to add the for each for get sizes as dollar size and it will end up here and for each okay so this one we are going to remove all these okay fine and now we are going to display this side whatever side will come so we are going to display this side here this one we can command this one is not required for now and here we are going to display its size like this one sorry dollar size like this okay so we are going to check once that whether the sizes are coming refresh the page and see we able to get the sizes for the mobiles as we have opened the mobile page and you can see the all the mobile sizes are coming two sizes we have added so far that is 64 gb and 128 gb and both are displaying fine okay so we can go to the clothing brand clothing men section men category we can go and here you can see the sizes for the men is coming sizes for the t-shirts is are coming small medium and large so no 4 gb 8 gb coming in the clothing category okay so this is the thing that we want totally dynamic okay uh, so uh, so that we can uh, work on this thing for the first time you can see the amazon flipkart and the big brands used to work like this okay so they are going to display uh, the filters dynamically okay fine so now we need to operate these filters for that we will also we will add the class size uh, with that the filter we are going to add the jquery function for that and also we are going to add the name and id for that like we used to do for others okay so you can see for sort and for other we are uh, we have used and this similar kind of thing we are going to use here as well like input type checkbox class here we will add this site class for this one and id we are going to see here we can also use the key uh, that uh, it will help us like this okay so that uh, we can add this key uh, wherever we require so here also we are going to add the name name we are going to add the side array like we have done for others side array and id uh, id we are going to modify we are going to make id like uh, uh, side is uh, we are going to make side is and then uh, see we are going to add here uh, this one this key to make it unique or we can simply do it like size and this one and same uh, we can use this one uh, here in id as well as uh, we can use the same one i co copy and in four also we are going to use the same other than that uh, value also is required so value is the same value this value we are going to copy this one and we'll paste here okay so uh, i'm going to open the uh, scripts blade file in which we are adding these scripts okay in php file so that we can add the for each loop uh, so same like sort i'm going to add uh, the uh, for the filter uh, for this size so I'm going to copy this one okay this one I'm going to copy and I'm going to add for the side okay like this okay 
so here i can mark it like this sort by filter here we can mark it i am going to make it side filter sort side filter here it will work with the dollar size and here this one is working for the dynamic filters dynamic filters okay that coming from the edit panels coming from the edit panel okay so side whenever this side change uh, so this uh, uh, this jquery will work and here uh, see we are getting the sort and url and also we are required to get the uh, variable site site see we are going to use the get filter here that function that we have made uh, to add the site array okay there can be more than one site the customer can check so we need to get it in array so we have used the get filter function if you remember this function we have used in custom.js file okay you can open and check this one custom.js file you know that what this uh, what, what this function do it uh, with the help of this class it is going to add uh, all in array all in filter array one by one okay so we are going to use this get filter and here the site class will come with that it will work okay to get the to get all the sizes in this variable size okay so after that uh, checks one that it is working fine and this size we are required to add here as well see uh, in url after url uh, see uh, method sorry not here 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 we require to add the size as well okay size like this fine so now it seems to be fine okay so uh, here also everything yeah fine okay now uh, in list uh, in uh, uh, our product controller in front uh, we require to add checking for like uh, dynamic filters for sort and now we are required to add the checking for size as well okay so i'm going to add checking for size this time okay so first of all we are going to check the same way like this one we are going to check whether the site has been selected or not okay so here i'm going to add here size like this okay if the site has been so uh, see instead of dollar get we are getting here in dollar data okay so we are going to use instead of dollar get we will use the dollar data and in dynamic filters also you can see that we have used the dollar data okay dollar data site and if you are confused that whether this site is coming or not and we can uh, check this one here we can check and here inspect that it is working fine that one will select this side it is actually coming in function or not so i'm going to select here large and you can see the medium or large okay so there is some kind of issue uh, we have got uh, open that uh, filters blade files uh, in which we are showing the sizes and here id must be unique uh, for all uh, so the side dollar key is fine it must work uh, it seems to be fine uh, okay let's check refresh once again and see there seems to be some unexpected token okay so there seems to be some error here okay so we are going to check for this one okay so there is silly mistake here in scripts bed file don't do this kind of silly mistake at your end here comma is required so that's why okay so let's refresh once again now uh, we can keep open this one so that we will check about the error uh, i'm going to select the large once again i'm going to select now medium this time uh, nothing is coming uh, we are going to check uh, that whether it able to call that or not okay <coughs> so uh, we able to debug our code to find out that where the issue is exactly okay so it is debugging is uh, very important uh, so uh, see this uh, filter must work with uh, 
class okay we have given here uh, we must give here class so uh, see in sort we have given the id but here in dynamic filters we have also given the class so it must work with class now we need to check once again that it is working or not okay otherwise we will debug the code to find out the error so i'm going to check this time this time it is working fine it's like we have selected the large large is coming here in side array you can see now i'm going to select the medium medium has been added in the side array so i'm going to check this time the small and small has been added to the side array you can see that we able to add the three sizes three sizes in the side array after checking them at the left sidebar okay so this is working instantly and you can see the role of the function like i'm mentioning you earlier that this is the role of the function uh, that function that we are using this one get filter function it is adding one by one in the filter array okay so that we are using here in the uh, in the prox controller okay so now see it is fine uh, now we can comment this one we can move further and uh, we are required to fetch the product ids now uh, okay once again we need to fetch the product ids and uh, we are required to fetch uh, we are uh, uh, see after product ids we can able to uh, choose our specific product we can update the query so we are going to uh, uh, select the product ids from the product attributes once again so here i am going to write once again product ids and products from products attributes as we have got these sizes products attribute uh, from here we are going to select the product id only product id okay we are going to use the where in condition here we are going to use we are going to compare with this site we have the site array here okay this is the array of site okay we are going to compare with this array and then we are going to use the pluck once again product id we are going to use this product id we are going to plug this product id and we will use the two array ok so now uh, we can uh, we have got here all the product ids and now simply uh, category products and this one uh, we will use the where in condition once again and to uh, we can use this product ids here ok so let's run and check that whether this is working fine or not refresh it and see uh, now there are four products i'm going to select the large size okay so here some error has come we need to check what what error has come exactly uh, okay so i'm going to select the medium size as well let's see what error okay prox attribute not there okay so we are going to add this one this model is not attached so now we are going to check once again and refresh we can keep it like this so that if any error will come we can uh, simply debug and resolve that issue you know that how to debug as a developer you must uh, resolve the issues as well okay so i'm going to check the large and see another error has come now see what error has come exactly uh, too few arguments in where in okay so uh, it is saying uh, that maybe uh, that error uh, is there in somewhere in here okay we are going to check where in size dollar data size uh, where is it? dollar data size uh, it, there must be no error but yeah we are going to check okay so here we can see that uh, this is another silly mistake i have done this must be compared with the id okay so uh, now it is fine okay we need to compare it with id uh, okay uh, with the uh, see we are using the products table here you can see in the beginning uh, that we are using the products uh, we are getting the uh, we are getting from the products table all the data from the products table so here we need to get the uh, we need to uh, mention here the id or if uh, you can also mention like the products id as well okay 
so if it give any error we can mention it's like products.id as well let's mention products.id so now i'm going to refresh okay and we are going to see whether it will work fine or not keep it open so maybe some other error come then we are going to resolve so i'm going to select large this time it is working fine so we, we can close so you can see that we able to get only one product for large okay so for medium we can able to get these more products but here we have not added these sizes for uh, all the products we need to add the sizes for all the products then uh, the results will come fine okay let's see the mobile here mobile category here we have added the sizes here so only one product is there for the 128 gb okay so this is the product that is having the 128 gb this product does not have the 128 gb so this product must come when we uh, when we check this 128 gb so you can see only this product is coming because only this product is having 128 gb so if we will check both then the both products will come up here okay so it is working fine and uh, for making sure that the products uh, filter size filter will work fine always add the sizes for all the products only then it will work fine okay i think some of the product don't have any size you can see here uh, they don't have any size here okay so we need to add the sizes for all the products so that we can test its uh, functionality is working fine or not okay so add at least one size so that we can test the functionality otherwise we will never come to know uh, that the filters are working fine or not okay make sure i think this is having the three sizes uh, yeah it's having these three sizes that is fine and uh, this one is also not having any size so add at least a small size for the products okay so we can check other products as well this one as well okay so add these sizes so that we will get the correct result we can also add medium for one of the product so that we can show we can get two products in medium and only one product in large can give here 900 then submit and one more is left we will also add the side for that product this one okay so let's add for this one we can add once again small okay fine now we can check here for large there is only one product i can go to the men section here okay men category here all the t-shirts are there okay we can check the large only one product is having large that is fine two products is having medium so that is fine these two are having medium and all the products having small so all are displayed so for medium only two products are there that is fine so it is working fine okay so like this you can add the filter for all you can add the sizes for all filters as well the same one and the same thing you need to add uh, the sizes color everything so on so that we can uh, the products will will be shown whenever someone check uh, in those in filters okay so i hope the size filter is clear to you okay for every category we have the separate filters separate sizes and we are showing the same sizes there okay like the uh, clothing is having those small medium and large and the mobiles are having these 128 and 64 gb oh and th these are working very perfectly okay so that's all for now uh, in the next video we will do some other filter so uh, if you want to get this code then always join the channel as a premium member to get the complete code and support okay uh, so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye